what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in this video we're going to look at a couple of more inputs so it's going to be website email search and placeholder input so let's start by again uh, creating a label element over here like this so we create a opening label tags and over here i'm just going to write a for attribute and i'm going to say that it's email because over here i'm going to place email and colon over here and after that i'm going to create a input box but when i'm writing the type attribute i'm going to write email and you will see why i'm doing that and a name i'm going to give it again email and what happens over here is that i'm just going to close that out over here and now i can see that if i'm trying to type anything else let's say that if i'm starting with johnny and right away it gives me johnny hotmail right but let's say that if i would just write johnny and i'm just trying to pass it the information however you can see right away it says please include a at otherwise it's not going to accept the form now another form that i would want to show you is actually a website form and it works pretty much the same way so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and over here and i'm going to say website over here and i'm going to say the name is a website and over here also is going to be a website and what I'm, I'm what i'm going to do over here is i'm just going to write a type and it's going to be url like this and save it and now i'm going to have to do a little bit of line breaks otherwise it's a uh, not working really well so what i'm going to do over here is i'm just going to create a line break like this and now I have two nice forms. And over here is exactly the same. You can see that if I'm trying to just to type uh, whatever I want, it's actually there's a tooltip that's saying that uh, please enter an actually valid, uh, let's say the website, right? And the last thing that I would wanna show you is actually how we can create a uh, search input. So I'm just gonna copy this over here and paste it over here. And let's say that in this case, I'm just going to create, uh, I'm going to create a uh, search. And what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to write uh, search. And it a little bit messed up what I was doing. So I'm just going to create colon over here. I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to delete this. And over here, I'm going to write as type. I'm going to write search. And again, I'm going to have to create a line break somewhere. Otherwise, it doesn't look particularly good. So line break over here. And now I have a search. So over here, if I'm typing something that it's technically starting to search, and I can just use the X and get rid of it, right? Now, there's also one thing that I would, one more attribute that I would want to show you, and it's a placeholder attribute. And what happens is that attribute helps you if, for example, I don't know what to type here, I'll write enter keyword. And you can see how it's lighter gray. It's basically suggesting what I should type in the search box, right? So once I start typing, it disappears. However, once I get rid of it, you can see that again, it's saying enter the keyword. So that's what the attribute placeholder would be for. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.